Assalamualaikum guys, welcome to Nurul Riyasi and this is your mathematics teacher Nuruddin Qureshi. And sorry about the delay in uploading the videos. Actually, I was busy in my academics and also I was working on this the new format because initially I was using the light board for making the videos. Then we converted all the light board videos to the animations for better visualization. Now I am just trying to make a fusion between the video and the animation in order to make it more interactive and less formal. So the topic that we would be discussing today is very interesting. That is related to the time that is going on that is Ramzan. So it is not exactly related to Ramzan, but it is related to the start and the end of Ramzan. So our topic for today is the mathematics of the moon sighting. So as we know that there are numbers related to the moon sighting, to the month, lunar month. Like there is a beauty of uncertainty then whether the lunar month would be, would be of 29 days or 30 days. First of all, we have to understand the relation between the time and the celestial motions. So because as we know that uh, in the solar system we have celestial objects that means sun, earth, moon, planets, stars. So we would be understanding what are the uh, different motions of celestial objects and their relation to the time, the calendars that we are following. So first of all, there is a the revolution of earth around the sun. There is a sun and there is a earth which revolves around the sun on its orbit and it takes about 365 days, 5 hours, 59 minutes and 16 seconds. We can say that it is equal to 365.25 days. That is approximately equal to one year. Obviously our year is of 365 days but after every four years we see a leap year so that that 0.25 after four years makes one so that is why after every four years we have 366 days then we have another celestial motion that is the revolution of moon around the earth on its orbit so this is the earth and this is the moon revolving around the earth it happens between 27 days 7 hours 43 minutes and 11.6 seconds which is approximately equal to one month as we know that the month is of 29 or 30 days if we talk about the lunar month but we will discuss what is the basic difference why if there is a lag of about two days between the orbit motion and the lunar month and the third type of the celestial motion is the rotation of earth around its own axis so it happens in 24 hours like 23 hours 56 minutes and 4.091 seconds that is approximately equal to one day that is the length of the rotation of the earth around its own axis now the motion that is related to our topic uh, that is the mathematics of the moon sighting this is the revolution, this is the uh, celestial motion that is related to the moon sighting. So now we will deep dive into it and we will understand some concepts. First of all, we will understand what are the lunar phases. So as we know, we have different lunar phases like full moon, half moon, crescent. We will understand that. But first of all, we have to understand some of the key concepts. First of the key concept is very basic. That is the crescent. What is a crescent? So as you have seen in different flags like Turkish flag, Pakistani flag that with has a crescent sign. So that is the phase of the moon in which less than half of the moon is illuminated. Similarly, we have another phase that is called Gibbous. It is a phase in which more than half of the moon is eliminated. So we will be using these two concepts in the next slide. So now let's understand about the lunar phases. This is the earth and this is the sun and the light emits out of the sun and it falls on the earth. So this part of the earth is having the daytime and this part of the earth is having the nighttime. So there is a moon with an orbit around the earth. These are different phases of the earth. Mainly there are eight phases. So we will understand what are the eight phases. So first of all, when the moon is between, so this is the point when uh, where the moon is between the sun and the earth. Obviously, this phase would be illuminated. This would, phase would be dark. So the side of the moon facing the earth would be dark. So it would be like this. This is the conjunction point. Conjunction point is the point in which the moon is completely dark. So the moon is simply invisible. Then after certain duration, it, it starts to happen the waxing crescent. That means the crescent is increasing. So we will see some illuminated side of the moon. And then after the quarter part, when the moon has covered the quarter of its orbit, we will see the first quarter, that means the half moon. Then again, the illumination will increase and then we will see the waxing gibbous. And then after the half of the lunar orbit, that means about 13, 14 or 15 days, we see a full moon. Then again, the darkness starts to cover the moon and uh, we start seeing the waning gibbous. 
and then again a half moon after the last quarter and then the waning crescent and then again the conjunction point when we talk about the age of the moon so this point is called the initial stage of the moon where the age of the moon is zero when there is a new moon so we will see a complete dark moon that means the moon would be located between the earth and the sun when we talk about the age of the moon so this is the starting point and the age of the moon is calculated from this conjunction point when we say the moon is of 14 days so this is the full moon when we say the moon is of like seven days or six days it would be first quarter around first quarter these are the main phases of the uh, moon uh, which are called the lunar phases now we will understand about the revolution of moon around the earth again there are some basic concepts that we have to understand so first concept is sidereal period we will understand the deep, deeply what is the sidereal period but first of all we have to understand the definition of the sidereal period sidereal period is the period in which the moon completes its revolution around the earth when the moon completes its orbit so that is the sidereal period as we have uh, studied in the last few slides that it is of the duration of like 27 days and something so that is sidereal period now we have a synodic period what is a synodic period synodic period is a period in which the phase cycle of the moon is completed so it is the period in which the moon completed its phase cycle apparently these two periods should be same but they are not why that we will understand in the upcoming slides we have to understand that these are two different concepts sidereal period is a period in which the moon completes its orbit and synodic period is a period in which the moon completes its phase cycle so now we will see the difference and how it is impacting the uncertainty difference between the sighting of the moon and the time period and the length of the moon which is sometimes 29 days or sometimes 30 days now the revolution of the moon so this is the sun and this is the earth and uh, it has an orbit around it the earth has an orbit in which the moon is located and the moon completes its revolution with, uh, which is called a sidereal period that we have studied in the last slide which is of duration 27 days 7 hours 43 minutes and 11.6 seconds which is approximately equal to 27.32 days but as we know that there is also another motion celestial motion which is the revolution of earth around the sun it happens around this orbit which is around the sun so when the earth obviously that uh, after a certain time the earth will be dislocated from this point to this point so now again there will be a moon but if we compare these two points so this was the point at which the moon started its cycle but this point is now here so again this complete revolution will again be a sidereal period but if we compare the position of the moon the relative position of the moon between the sun and the earth now as you can see the moon is not lying between the earth and the sun that means it is not a conjunction point so the conjunction point would be somewhat here that means the moon has to cover a certain distance in order to make it to the conjunction point this is the part that the moon has to cover in order to make it up to the conjunction point this traveling will obviously consume a duration so that is would be of two and one sixth of a day now we have to understand what is the difference here when we talk about the sidereal period this was the conjunction point because the moon was lying between the earth and the sun and after a complete revolution like after a complete sidereal period it again came to this point so this was the point then again after a sidereal period it again came to this point but now as we know that the because of the revolution of the earth around the sun the position of the earth has changed since the lunar phase depends upon the relative position of the moon between the earth and the sun that is why it has to cover an extra part of the orbit in order to reach to the point of conjunction adding the two whole number one upon six days to the sidereal pre period that makes a synodic period so this is the difference between the synodic period and the sidereal period because sidereal period was the period in which the moon has come to the starting point after completing its orbit but the synodic period is a period in which the moon returns to the conjunction point so there is a difference between its lunar phase cycle and its traveling around its own orbit adding to the synodic period and the extra two days we will get 
about 29.5 days that is the reason sometimes we see a moon on new moon on 29th day or a 30th day of a lunar month but again it is not exactly 29.53 days it lies in a range which starts with 29.27 days and ends till 29.84 days that is why there is uncertainty sometimes the moon is visible in 29.27 days sometimes 29 days that is why sometimes the moon is visible the new moon is visible on 29th day and sometimes it is visible on 30th day so as we know that the orbits are the elliptical in shapes so again because of the angular positions of the moon earth and sun the moon is sighted in this range now we will understand the concept of visibility of the moon because so many times uh, we are confused that if the moon is visible with the naked eye if we have to use a telescope or a binoculars so we will understand the concept of the visibility of uh, of the moon uh, with respect to its age as we have studied the conjunction point is the point in which the moon is born so after the duration of the conjunction point that is the age of the moon for example if we have a age line of the moon if the age of the moon is less than 14 hours so it is impossible to see it with a naked eye without an optical aid like telescope or binoculars and if the age of the moon is greater than 30 hours that means it is visible without any optical aid but if the age of the moon lies between the 14 hours and the 30 hours in that period the visibility will depend upon different factors like the location of the moon and the region in which we are living and from which we are trying to see the moon and also the climate the weather and also we have to understand a, uh, the concept of fat crescent generally we see a fat crescent on the first day of any lunar month and we assume that maybe the moon new moon was wrongly announced or maybe it is of the second day not the first day first of all we have to understand the concept of the fat crescent that why we see a fat crescent for example if the age of the moon is 17 hours so that means it is still less than 24 hours so uh, which means it is a new moon obviously it it lies between this range so it maybe it is not visible with the naked eye but uh, on the next day obviously it would be visible but on the next day the uh, age of the moon would be 24 hours less than the, this current age so 17 hours plus 24 hours so the new age of the moon would be the 41 hours now the 41 hours means that the new moon is not any more new it is like pretty much old but not greater than obviously two days because it is it's still less than 48 hours but it is close to 41 hours so that is why we see a fat crescent now let's talk about the site of the new moon that could be here and when the new moon would be visible for example if we have the sun and actually after the 15 minutes after the sun is set above the sun and within the range of the 30 angles left to right we can see a new moon visible if it is visible with the naked eye that we have already understood that what are the factors that affect the visibility of the moon with the naked eye this was all about the mathematics of the moon sighting i hope you liked our video if yes then do like it comment and share it as much as possible and please do tell us do give us, give us your feedback related to the new concept the new way of recording this video the new fusion of this video and animation and if you like the concept of Nurul Riyazi then do subscribe our channel and follow our Instagram page with the same handle so see you guys in the next video